Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgart, Random Nurse We Love, and we have a unilateral leg workout for you today. And if you want to see the arm version of this, you got to hit subscribe to our channel and find out when it drops. All right, you guys, today I am joined by the amazing Dr. Taylor from the Minnesota Pork Board. We are so excited to have Taylor joining us. Say hi, Taylor. Hey, guys. And you guys, what's really exciting is Taylor does Nurse with Love workouts yeah. on the regular. So she is like the most prepared guest we've ever had. She already tried and tested this workout. What did you think? Holy bananas, guys. Holy bananas leg day strength training, right? Yeah. Okay, you guys, Taylor is an awesome vet and she works with specializing in pigs. That's all she works with is pigs. And she's gonna drop some fun facts for us today throughout, today, out, throughout today's workout. It's gonna be lots of fun. I've already learned so much from you and I'm excited to share what I've learned. And you guys know the familiar face, Rachel. Hi. Rachel's gonna be offering modifications throughout today's workout, okay? So what you need for today's leg day is some dumbbells. You can go anywhere heavy to light, grab whatever you have. I'm also gonna throw in this yoga block. You could add a thick book if you want to add a slight incline, okay? It's gonna increase the intensity. You don't have to if you don't want to. And then we have a bench. Taylor and I are gonna be dropping over to for some single leg exercises. Rachel's gonna show you how you can do it from the ground. So you get to choose lots of options for everyone today. But what does unilateral leg day even mean? It means we are focusing on one side of the body at a time. So all single leg exercises. And it looks like this, you got three circuits. Each circuit has two strength exercises, single leg. You'll go single leg, single leg, single leg, single leg on the right side and then a burnout move. And then we'll go left, 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 burnout move. So you're gonna do each set four times, two times per leg. Are you guys ready to knock it out? Let's go. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Sounds like a mouthful, you guys, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. Unilateral training is one of my favorite ways to train because it also really works our core. So let's get started with a nice warm up, and we're gonna jump right into today's workout. So we're gonna start, feet are stacked underneath the hips. Let's just go for some good old knee pulls. So pull that right knee up, give it a hug. Pull the left knee up, give it a hug. Nice, we're just hugging those knees up towards our chest. Awesome job, you guys. Nice, we're just gonna get warmed up. We're really gonna open up those hips. We're gonna hit everything today from the glutes, the quads, the hammies. We're gonna hit it all. Nice work and a lot of core because it's single-sided, right? Nice, go one more each way. Awesome. From here, we're gonna step back to reverse lunge. So right leg goes back to reverse lunge. As I stand up, can you give me a big hip opener? Set the right leg down. Step back, left leg. Big hip opener at the top. Nice, switch it out. Step back, right leg. Big hip opener. Today's workout is mostly focused on strength training. The burnout exercises are meant to challenge your power, but there will be no jumping, okay? So all strength training, that is the season of life. I am in right now about four months, almost five months postpartum. My big guy, I can't believe he's getting old, oh. right? But strength training is the name of the game for me. Stuck with me. Taylor, you said you prefer strength training over our hip oh, workouts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so she likes. So she's gonna like this one too. Nice, let's go one more each way. Big up and over. Nice, open up those hips. Nice. And from here, you're gonna go feet a little bit wider than shoulder width distance apart. Give me a big inhale, reach up, exhale. Reach down for the toes, fingertips go to the toes, let it all hang heavy. Drop the hips, bottom of a low squat. Take a couple squat prize, wobble side to side here. Nice, can you take those hands, reach them overhead, drive through your heels, stand up, let's do it again. Forward fold, reach for the toes. Big, nice hang, nice, drop the hips, open the knees. Couple prize, side to side, wobble it out. Plant the heels on the ground, reach the hands overhead, stand up tall from here, let's just go right into squats. So take it down and up, down and up. Just squat it out, nice. We always say squats are the name of the game, right? Squats, bilateral exercise, okay? So two feet on the ground, parallel to each other. Not what we're gonna be doing today. We will be doing squats, just variations of squats. Okay, you can always come back to bilateral if that's more comfortable for you right now. Think about pushing those knees out towards those outer three toes. Chest up, eyes up, drive through those heels for four. You got it. Three, stick with it. Two, and last one, big inhale, forward fold. Nice, from here you're actually just gonna go right back into a tabletop position. Tabletop position, adductor rocks, kick that right leg out. Toes are gonna face me right here. Sit the hips back and forward. A couple adductor stretches. We're gonna throw in a fun adductor strength and mobility move at the end for you guys because we got lots of people out there that are good fans of mobility. You know I love mobility. Nice. Right here, come back to that tabletop position. Right hand reaches up. Thread that needle, stretch through that inner thigh. Open the hip. Nice little shoulder stretch for you there too. Awesome, bring it back to center. Kick it out. Other side, right here. Toes face me on the left. Sit back and forward, nice. Back and forward, nice. Four, yes. Three, we're gonna open the arm and stretch it out. And two. 
And last one, keep that forward lean, nice left arm to the ceiling, thread the needle, stretch through that inner thigh, nice little mobility there, little thoracic spine rotation. That all feels so stinking good. Back to center, we're gonna kick it back to our butts because Taylor said she liked this move from our live <laughs> workout, so we are bringing it. It is a fun mobility challenge, okay? 90, 90, 90, 90, knees drive into the ground, okay? Take your shin or your chest, cut your shin in half. Can you lift this leg off the ground? Lift this off the ground, hold it here, hover, hover. Now swing it around, kick it out, show me the bottom of your shoe. Bring it back to the 90-90, set it down. Do it again, lift and hover. Kick, show me the bottom of your shoe. Awesome job, you guys are rock stars. We're gonna do it one more time on this side. Lift, show me the bottom of your shoe. Bring it back, set it down. Now we're gonna go to a 90-90. I'm gonna show from the side, you guys can stay facing forward. I'm gonna go this way. Fingertips are gonna face away from my butt and I'm gonna bridge and lift. So gonna go one arm over, sit down, hover the hips, lift and press. Nice, we're opening up the hips, opening up the chest. Nice little front of the body stretch, right? There you go, nice. One more each side. Awesome job, last one. Big reach, sit it back down, 90, 90, other side, okay? Switch out the legs, 90 degree, 90 degree. Chest, split shin in half. Can you lift this back knee off the ground? Lift and hold, hold it here. Kick it around, show me the bottom of your shoe. Nice, you feel those hip flexors working for you. Set it down, do it again. Lift and hold, show me the bottom of your shoe. Woo, get it over those weights, that's a challenge too. Bring it back, set it down. Last one on this side, lift and hold. Kick, show me the bottom of your shoe. Awesome job, bring it back. Nice work, come back to that tabletop position, take the knees nice and wide, couple rocks right here, big frog rocks, open up those hips, that feels good. Plant the hands on the ground, step back, high plank, right foot outside, right shoe, or right hand, big easy twist, because we gotta have this one in every workout, it's my favorite stretch. Classic. Take your elbow to the ankle, classic moves, right? Big open up, plant the hand, switch it out, left foot outside, left hand, big easy twist. Left elbow, left shoe. Nice, open it back up. Nice, step back. Go ahead, step both feet up to meet each other. Stand up tall. Couple hamstring sweeps because we haven't hit the back of the legs yet. Right heel out. Big reach. Left heel out. Big reach. Woo, find that balance. Right heel out. Big sweep. Little hamstring sweeps. Nice. Reach those hands down. Feel that back of the stretch in the back of the leg, the calf. Nice, warm it up. Awesome job, you guys. Finishing that warm up. You're gonna go one more each side here. Nice work. Awesome job. Are we warm? How do we feel? Good. Let's go for a couple butt kicks. Oh, Run it out. Run it out. <laughs> Kick that booty. Eight, seven, six. It's just indicative of what we're going to do in this workout. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, you guys. Are you nice and warm? I'm going to grab a quick sip of water and we are going to get into it. Okay. First set is squats, but with a fun twist, like I promised. Okay. Taylor's going to show you how to add a dumbbell under her leg or under her foot. I'm gonna use this yoga block. You could always use a thick book. Rachel's gonna show you how you can do everything from the ground. It's an 80-20 squat. We've done that before, right? 80% of the weight in my right leg, 20% in the left toe. This time, I'm gonna pop my right heel just for fun to make it a little bit more focused on my quad. So by popping the heel or elevating the heel, we call it a front foot elevated, okay? Elevating the heel, we're gonna get more quad emphasis. So. It's an 80-20 heel up squat. I got 80% in this right heel, 20% in this left toe, okay? My heel's popped, it doesn't have to be. I'm gonna frame the weights right here. Frame it down and up. We're gonna squat. It's 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Quick transitions. Are you guys ready? 80% in that right leg. Option to pop that right heel on a dumbbell. Option to pop it on a block. Option to keep it on the ground. We go in three, two, let's go. So my working leg, is the right leg. There's 80% of the weight there. Woo, hello, balance challenge. There it is, unilateral work. Okay, why the heel pop? You're gonna get greater range of motion. Okay, you can maybe go a little bit deeper in that squat with the heel elevated. Okay, heels elevated. It's gonna give me greater range of motion. It's gonna give me a more quad emphasis, top of the thighs. And it's only 30 seconds. So grab those heavy weights and get after it today, you guys. Come on, it's leg day. Big muscle groups mean you go heavy. Five seconds here. Yes, go three. Two, and you're out, nice. I'm gonna put my foot right on top of this, front foot elevated. Rachel and Taylor are gonna show you how to do it from the ground, okay? I'm gonna go reverse lunge, reverse lunge, side squat, reverse lunge, side squat. In three, two, let's go. Right foot stays planted, left leg moves, right? That's where that unilateral work comes in. Back to lunge, back to side squat. Step back, lunge, adding the front foot elevated like I'm doing here. It's gonna increase the intensity. Give me a greater stretch at the bottom. Ooh, nice work, I'm feeling that leg. I was gonna say Hello. these back to back on the same leg. 
Yes, and the good news is you get to do it again. <sighs> again, that's why we're going two times on the right, two times on the left. It is gonna burn, I'm not joking, you guys. Four, three, two, set the weights down. Shake it off, same two moves on that same leg. 80% right leg, 20% left toe. Option, heel up, squats, squats, 30 seconds. Back into it, ready? You're on in three, two, let's roll, let's roll. Down and up, Whew. Hello, front leg. It is gonna get real <laughs> shaky up in here, right? Okay, nice work, you guys. Awesome job, strength training is the name of the game. Single leg training and back to back. It's kind of like superset style. We're gonna work those muscles to fatigue here. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Nice work, Whew. You got it, you got it. It's strength training, but it's gonna raise your heart rate, I promise. Go for it. Three, two, and one. Nice work. I'm going front foot on the block, okay? Option front foot on the ground. Right foot stays planted, left foot moves, okay? You know what's really fun? We go bonus move, burnout after this. Step back, lunge, side squat in three, two, let's go. Left leg lunge, step to squat, right foot stays planted. Nice, I'm gonna keep the weights framed right here. Your option would be to go goblet style. This is a great option too, okay? You know, I told one dumbbell at your chest, is Rachel doing that? Oh, she is. That's what I'm doing. Oh, <laughs> she had me covered. She's done how many workouts with me now? She's like, I got you. I'm showing the options, Lindsay. 10 seconds here, guys. 10 seconds. You're gonna drop the weights. We go body weight for the burnout in five, four, three, two, one. I'm dropping my weights. You're gonna go right into a lunge. I'm gonna keep that front foot elevated. It's a three count hold, explode. Okay, so we hold one, two, three, and drive. Okay, shake it out, you ready? It's 30 seconds. Three second hold in three, two, find that lunge. Hold for three, two, one, drive, hold, two, three, explode. Do you feel your right leg talking to you? You should, come on, two, three, and drive. I think Taylor described it best. She said, holy bananas, first circuit. One, two, three, Explode, come on, 10 seconds. Two, three, explode. You get a shake out the legs and switch sides. In five, four, three, two, one. Woo, shake it out, nice work. Yeah, Taylor is just gonna be, she's like superstar, tested the workout, she is so ready for this. I actually did this on Saturday morning between fixing a dog's toenails. Oh. My father-in-law showed up and was like, Will you look at her dog? Like a true vet. <laughs> like a vet, true yeah. vet. Yeah. Like a Not true a vet. vet. Family. Right? Same moves. Other side. Grab your weights. Okay. 80% left foot. 20% right toe. Squats. In three, two. Let's roll. Let's roll. Down and up. 30 seconds. So now you felt it on the right. You get to feel it on the left, right? Nice. You might notice one side is easier than the other. Totally normal. You got it. Down up. This is where you can catch that breath, slow it down. You can always take one dumbbell to the chest like Rachel, goblet style. You got it. Nice work, you guys. It's one rep at a time. See if you can get a little bit deeper if you got that heel up. Go for that range of motion. Five seconds here. Finish three, two. Give me one more, because you can, you're out. Nice work, I'm gonna go front foot on the block. Front foot on the block. We go, lunge, side squat. Left foot stays planted. Right leg's gonna move. Whew. Step it back to lunge. In three, two, let's go. Lunge, side squat. Lunge, side squat, it's 30 seconds. Shorter work times, right? Usually we do 40 seconds. It's a little bit shorter, so maybe you can go a little bit heavier, but it's the super set back-to-back format that's gonna get you. It's sneaky, so sneaky. Nice work, you guys, 10 seconds here. Come on, keep burning out those legs. One rep at a time, you got it. Move for me for five. Four, three, two, you're out. Shake it out. Woo, shake, shake. Same moves. Set them down, right? I like setting those waist down in between. Shake it out. Shake it, yeah. All right, guys, same thing. Other side. Or no, same side. Same side. It's the same side that makes it so hard. Grab the weight. 80, 20. In three, two, let's go. 80 left, 20 right. 30 seconds of squats. My legs are just shaking, you guys, burning. I told these guys I'm recovering from being sick. I haven't worked out in four days. This is truly gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, that first workout back, it's so hard, right? Come on. But that's the beauty of all these workouts. You scale them to your level, right? Scale it to your level. Come on, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Lunge squat, 
lunge squat. One rep at a time. Come on, this is your finish. Then we go burnout move. Circuit one. Circuit one. Finish it, guys. Finish it. Here we go. Option left foot elevated. Step back lunge in three, two. Let's roll. Lunge and squat. Lunge and squat. Nice work. Constant tension in that right glute, right or left glute, left quad. Yes, yes. You got it, you got it. Come on. Stay in it, stay in it. Feel the fire. Do you feel your quad talking to you? Holy bananas. 10 seconds here, guys. 10 seconds here. Stay with me. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo! Holy bananas. Holy bananas right into a burnout. Option body weight. Okay, here we go. Left foot elevated if you want it. Three count lunge hold. Explode. Make that explode. Big. Get in your lunge. We go in three, two, hold. Hold for three, two, one. Explode. Hold for three, two, one. Explode. Three, two, one. Drive. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Stay low and drive. Let's go. Hold. Two, three. Get those wobbles out. Come on. You got it. Strong, grounded front foot. Ten seconds. Yes, you can. Say it. Yes, I can. Let's go. Final five, four, three, two, one. Ha! Ah. Oh, grab some water, you guys. Go. Crushing it. Time for a fun, fun fact because I need a break. <laughs> oh. Okay, what did you say? 85, you told me. Because I said, so if you just work with pigs, like, what do you do? 85% of what you do is what? Preventative medicine. Preventative medicine, what does that mean? So, pretty much, the big things that make pigs sick are infectious diseases, so think bacteria, viruses, same as we get, right? Like global pandemic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that global pandemic, unfortunately. But, so yeah, almost everything I do is just keeping those diseases out of pigs and keeping pigs healthy because that's the right thing for the pig, it's the right thing for pork, and it's the right thing for farmers. For sure, yeah. absolutely. Love so that. you're mostly working with healthy pigs? Yes. Awesome, that's so fun. Great. It's a fun place to be, right? Yeah. And you like go farm to farm, you're just visiting farms. Every day. How fun is that? Yeah. I'm gonna ask you what your favorite part of visiting farms is, but we're gonna keep people on suspense because we're moving into circuit two. <laughs> Rachel's coming over, she's gonna show us how to do this from the ground. Taylor and I are gonna take it to a bench. Rear foot elevated. Oh, your, your favorite. favorite. <laughs> your favorite, okay? Let's go right foot forward first. Okay, so left foot back. So I like to set up from the ground up, so I'm gonna set my left knee on the ground. Get it up on the bench. This bench is just a hair high for us, but we're gonna make it work. Find a nice 90-90. I'm gonna hold one heavy dumbbell. Probably gonna regret this 20 pounder. <laughs> one heavy dumbbell. You can always do two and frame your feet. Okay, Rachel's got two. She's gonna do a split squat. Okay, so we're gonna come up. We're gonna go Bulgarian lunge style or rear foot elevated lunge. So it's down and up for 30 seconds. Okay, all right, you guys, you ready? It. Let's start that 30 Let's second go. timer. <laughs> Let's start it. I think I'm gonna go 15 for the second time. Yeah. Marty, yeah. Marty second guessing. That's Three, loud. two, let's go. Down up. You yeah. hear the fear in Rachel's voice? I know. Okay, no. well, actually, when Lindsay told me we were shooting Minnesota pork workouts, I got kind of nervous because the drop set Minnesota pork workouts are kind of infamous oh, here. Like, right? Like, but can't again, walk the next day. All strength so training, right? Yes. So we are not jumping, you guys. This is strength. We kept Minnesota pork all strength training, and they're intense strength workouts, right? And I love them. They're great, yes. but yes. oh my. <laughs> oh my is right. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Holy bananas. We're gonna stay right here, but I'm gonna back up my front foot a little bit. I'm actually gonna go into a rear foot elevated deadlift. First ever time you're gonna see this on NML, okay? It's a hip hinge. Rachel's going to take her deadlift. Pick your poison. Pick your poison in three, two, let's go. So you're initiating with a hip hinge. This is focusing, so that lunge, we're dropping the hips, we're hitting the glutes, the quads, okay? Now, we're hitting hamstrings and glutes. First ever, rear foot elevated, hamstring. And you guys, I started loving this move during pregnancy, and I've continued to love it. That single leg hamstring, whoo! Hello deadlifts, hello hammies. They're talking to me for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, same thing, same leg. I'm gonna go down to 15 pounds. That's where I am today, you guys. Whew. You know, props you for starting heavy, though. Props yeah, you, you know what? Yeah. yeah. We're all, yep. today is not my day. I'm just gonna throw it out there. <laughs> it's not, but I'm gonna show up and do my best. You do yours. Set it up. Lunges. Okay, set up from the ground up. Here we go, three, two, let's go. Shoelaces down. <sighs> Dropping, driving through that front heel. Nice, okay? If you are just starting with rear foot elevated lunge, it is a challenging move. 
Okay, if it doesn't feel good for you, take it to the floor like Rachel. Option, go body weight. Always a good option too. This is a tough move, you're in it for 10 seconds. 10 seconds, keep those shoelaces down, keep that chest up. Five, four, three, you're gonna give me one more, two, and one, Woo! Shake it out. I said one more and Taylor was like, nope. I was like, yep. <laughs> we are all in this together, you guys. I will say you've made my lunges so much better. Yes, love yes. we love, love to hear it. Rear foot elevated deadlift, move a little bit closer to your bench. Three, two, hips back, back. So initiate with a hip hinge versus dropping the hips. Nice, still a soft bend in that straight leg. So it's not totally straight. There's still somewhat of a bend in there. Again, another challenging move. I'm really focusing on crushing that orange in my armpit because I want to keep this dumbbell really tight to my body. You guys, whenever we bring new moves in, drop a comment on the video. Let us know if you like them. Five seconds here, five, four, three, two, and one. You ready for your burnout move? Keep this dumbbell right here. We're gonna go. Actually, it'd be fair, you gotta bring it over to your right side. Right side, suitcase swing, hinge, swing, hinge, swing, narrow stance, kick your booty, kick your booty, where your feet falls, where you stay. Three, two, let's go straight arm, hinge, swing, hips back, hips forward, drive, just like a kettlebell swing, but you're holding the weight on one side of the body. You're gonna force that core to work. Nice, unilateral training, legs and core, glutes, hips, hammies, they power that dumbbell right up to eye level. 10 seconds, come on. This is your burnout move. Let's go, let's go. Yes, you can. Five, four, three, two, you're out. Woo! We How go. are we feeling? I gotta start with the 20 pounds on the other side. I don't want to, but I got to. Keep it even, okay? Same moves, other side. Same moves, other side. Sweaty up in here, okay? Left foot forward, right foot on the bench. Right foot on the bench. Find that nice lunge position. We're gonna stand it up. We're gonna lunge, I'm gonna hang out here as long as I can. <laughs> 30 seconds, they're like, come on, Lindsay. Three, two, let's go. Down and up, down. This is where I think it's worth the shout out, right? You guys, Taylor is friends, we found this out, with Jared. Who knows Jared? We love Jared. <laughs> Jared from Minnesota Beef Council in our circuit video. Pyramid, the infamous. Oh, the infamous oh, pyramid. Yeah. 10 seconds here, guys. Thankfully, these guys are nicer to me than they were to Jared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, workout's we'll not see. over. Five, uh -oh. four, three, two, and one. Oh, holy banana, single leg is stinking tough. All right, here we go. Deadlift style. I'm gonna bring that left leg a little closer to the bench. Rear foot elevated deadlift, option stagger deadlift. Three, two, let's go. Hinge and drive. Hinge, keep that weight tight to the body. Think about crushing an orange in your armpit. Think about driving through your heel to stand you tall. It's a slow controlled movement. Nice work, nice work you guys. Oh, feel those glutes, feel those hammies. Get a nice stretch at the bottom. Drive and stand. Nice stretch at the bottom. Drive and stand. Woo! Come on, yes you can. Single leg, it's harder. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, switching out to my 15. Woo! Same moves. Same moves. Woo! Come on, finish it. Finish it. Left leg's gotta be as strong as the right leg. Here we go. Lunges. In five, four, three, two. Let's go. Shoelaces down. Drive is 30 seconds. You can do anything for 30 seconds. You know I'm mostly talking to myself right now. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Taylor, you're gonna have to be careful here because the floor's getting all sweaty where I'm standing. <laughs> <laughs> Nice work, safety first. Come on, guys. Isn't that kind of like extra core if the floor's a little unstable? Ah. <laughs> yes, this is where we all just breathe heavy, grit your teeth, five, four, three, two. Anyone else have a love hit with rear foot elevated? <laughs> Holy bananas. Deadlifts, deadlifts, rear foot elevated deadlift. Okay, you got this. Let's go. Let's go, team. Finish it out. Here we go, finish it. 30 seconds starts in three, two, let's go. Hinge and stand. Hinge. You know we're gonna bring an arm workout like this too, right? We gotta. <gasps> yes, we are. That unilateral arm day. If you like unilateral legs, you're gonna like unilateral arms. <sighs> ah! Okay, also a great way to scale your workouts if you don't have access to super heavy weights, right? Because essentially like single leg. Yeah. Thank you, Rachel. That is such a good point. Such a good point. Single leg exercises. So many ways to make your workout harder without heavy heavier load. Five, 
four, three, two, and one. Oh, you can go down unilateral. You can mess up the tempo, go eccentric, slower count, Whew, faster count. All right, who's ready for the burnout? Dumbbell, left hand, kick your booty, kick your booty. Suitcase swings in three, two, let's go. Hinge, swing, hinge, swing, come on. Feel that core working for you? That opposing right oblique? It's gotta work to stabilize you, right? You got it. Nice work, nice work. Come on, drive and stand at the top. Squeeze, nice work. Team, 10 seconds, let's go. Hinge and drive, right here. Nice work, nice work. Four, three, two, one. Woo. There we go. Holy bananas. The good news is, this Minnesota pork strength workout is 30 minutes. The drop sets were 45. How did we do it? We weren't form once plus part, I'll tell you that. Okay. All right, time for another fun fact. It's your one minute break between circuits. I'm gonna take a knee. Dr. Taylor is gonna tell us her favorite part about visiting the farms. Yeah, pig farms. I love to visit farms because I love talking to farmers. They're always so curious to learn and be better. And the, the best part about my job is that the more I teach them, they love it, they're better at their jobs, and the pig, it's better for the pigs too. So that's really my favorite part. Full circle. Yeah. That's like the best answer you could ever hear from a vet, right? Oh, Dr. Taylor, when can you come back? We love you. Should we bring her back for arms? Should we bring her back for arms, unilateral arms? Give me a thumbs up on this workout if you want her back. I want her back. All right? I want her back. All right, you guys, last circuit is circuit three. We're going lateral lunges because we haven't moved laterally outside of those lateral squats in circuit one. Lateral lunges, then we go down. I can't even put my hands on my legs. So <laughs> lateral lunges, and then we go down to the floor for glute bridges, okay? And we have a fun, fun burnout move for you guys, okay? So we're gonna go lateral lunge. I'm gonna use one heavy dumbbell. Option, we're gonna go just to our right side, okay? Option, I take two dumbbells. Lateral lunge, framing that foot. Option, I'm gonna take one dumbbell inside, heavier, right there. One dumbbell right there. We're gonna go lateral lunge, okay? Lateral lunge to start with, that's where we go. One dumbbell or two. You get to decide I'm going one heavy. Okay, you're stepping just to your right. It's 30 seconds. Lateral lunge right. In three, two, let's go. Lateral lunge, drive off that bent leg. Lateral lunge, drive off that bent knee. Nice, so I'm thinking rib cage to thigh. That always helps cue me. Rib cage to thigh. If you're like, I got this, you can try and explode off. Balance, drop into it, explode off. So here you're working on your decelerate, accelerate. Decelerate, accelerate. If you're an athlete, you know how important that is, right? Absorbing and driving power. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work, we're going down to the ground. I'm gonna find that block again, okay? They're gonna go staggered glute bridge. I'm gonna go single leg. My right leg, leg that I was dropping into is gonna go on my block. You can always put your right leg up on a bench, okay? Single leg glute bridge in three, two, Let's go, hover and lift. The floor's gonna be all sorts of sweaty, guys. We're gonna have to be careful from here on out. And lift, nice work. Hover and lift. Really important here, whether you're staggering or going single leg, that you're keeping those hips square. Nice, keep those heels close to your booty. That's where you're gonna feel the glute activation. Farther the heel is, more hamstring. Closer it is, more glute. You got it, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one, nice work you guys. We're gonna do that again. Whew, be careful of your sweaty spots. Be careful of your sweaty spots. Back to lateral lunge. Lateral lunge, hitting right. Hitting just that right spot, right? Real sweaty up in here. Hit right, in three, two, let's go. So lateral lunge, stand tall. Lateral lunge, stand tall, driving off that bent knee. Lateral lunge, nice work you guys. Lateral lunge, and stand, awesome job option, make it intense right here. Drive, test your decelerate, accelerate to balance. Decelerate, accelerate to balance. Nice work, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, awesome job. I'm gonna bring my block back in. You could always go to your bench, okay? Add a little incline, keep that heel tight to the glute. Glute bridge, single or double. Look at Taylor, she's throwing a weight on those hips. We love her, three, Two, let's go. She is a true NML. 
worker outer. Is that what you call them? No. Worker outer? That makes yeah. no sense. That is a mom <laughs> whose brain is on four hours of sleep with a four month old sleep regression. Okay. She's a true NML superstar. Superstar. <laughs> adding a dumbbell. Athlete. Athlete. I that's the like word, that. Rachel. Oh, that's why you're here. <laughs> Athlete. Come on. Go five, four. Embrace that shake for two and one. Holy bananas. Didn't know it was going to be that hard. Now you're going to take right knee right knee on my towel because I need some padding. Left leg is gonna kick out. Right shoelace is down. Option, I'm gonna hold the lighter dumbbell right here. Here's your mobility and strength right here. Hinge and drive. It's a little hip thrust from the ground. A little adductor stretch. Woo, how do we feel about it, guys? Do we feel challenged? I'm shaking, no one's talking to me. I know, well, I'm, <laughs> my whole hamstring is like, my hamstring's talking, I'll tell you that. Ah! My quad. I have to drop this weight. Woo! 10 seconds. Come on. You got it. Yes, you can. Right here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Holy bananas. Holy bananas. I'm going to just give this floor a quick little mop up because we're going to go left. We're going to go left. Okay. Those are your moves. <laughs> Take it left. Woo! How are we feeling, guys? You got it. The end is in sight, right? The end is like, in sight. We're two more rounds. Yep. We're going to. Yes, yeah, circuit three. Circuit three is our best circuit, right? Okay, lateral lunge, 30 seconds. Left side only, hair is everywhere. <laughs> we go in three, two, let's go. Hit left, stand tall, lateral lunge. One dumbbell or two, if you got two, you're framing the foot. Right, right here, nice work. Really working that outer gluteus medius here. Lateral movements, which we do every day. Training for real life, functional strength right here, guys. Come on, you got it, nice work. Come on, come on, aren't you glad circuit two wasn't last? That was the hardest for me. I'm so glad that is over. It is behind us, you got five, four, three, two, down to glute bridges, down to glute bridges. I'm putting this block on my left heel, okay? Block on the left heel, option, stagger your stance. Left heel closer, right heel farther, single leg, in three, two, let's go, hover and lift. We all just do this for Taylor right now. She is crushing, adding a weight. Other ways to make this harder. Take your arms overhead. Instead of having your arms at your side, try taking them overhead. Just feel that little change make your body work a little bit harder. All those small stabilizers, because I'm pressing right here, I'm taking out some of the stability work. All those small stabilizers turn on as soon as I do this, yes? Come on, let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, you guys. Holy bananas. Here we go. Last circuit. Last round. Last round. You're going to go to your left. Lateral lunge left. Glute bridge left. And then we're going to do that fun mobility move. That's going to challenge all of us. Three, two. So I'm going to make sure that I'm not stepping into sweat here. Woo. Come on, guys. Last you, round. You know how you always talk about why you work out, right? Yeah. It's going to be a good, strong mom. And I've been thinking about this, right? Preparing for here. And I just love Taylor. <laughs> I'm thinking about how most big farmers are guys, right? Right. So girls, like, I want to be strong enough and tough enough to keep up with them. I Farming love that. Is, it's hard work. It's physical labor, right? Nice work. <laughs> Good motivation. Last one. Nice work. I just love you, Taylor. I love your attitude. I love everything about you. And I just think, what an awesome surprise it must be when you show up, not like this young, beautiful woman, full of knowledge, <laughs> here to help these farmers. Like, how much just like, ready single leg, let's go, down and up. How much respect you just must get like this, right? She's like, I'm so stinking smart, I'm so stinking strong, and I'm here to help you. I just love it. I'm so pumped we had the pleasure of having you in this workout with us today, Taylor. Yeah. You're a total rock star. I know NML is gonna <laughs> love you, and they're gonna want you back for unilateral arms. Let's go, guys, right here. Come on, you're in it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, holy banana. These legs are gonna feel it tomorrow. Grab that towel if you need it or grab a cushion, maybe even a throw pillow. You know that $30 throw pillow you got from Target your husband said you were never gonna use? <laughs> what does he know? Look at this. <laughs> right here, man. Right here, okay? Kick out that right leg. Shoe this is down, down, and up. I'm gonna try and go halfway with the weight. I'm gonna drop it just like I did. Last time. Oh, yeah, I gotta drop it. It is hard, you guys. It is hard. Whew. Mobility, hip control, strength. Come on. 
Nice work. 10, nine, eight. Do you see the light at the end of this workout? Four, three, two, and one. Just sit it back. Oh, nice work. Taylor, you crush it. You Rachel, you crush it. We're gonna stretch from our backside, you guys. We're gonna stretch from our backside, okay? Because that was just tough stuff. While we stretch, Taylor's gonna tell us her favorite cuts of pork, okay? Because now I'm curious, right? There's like a million cuts of pork. So let's start, go legs long. Big inhale, reach, full body stretch. Exhale, pull right knee in. Yeah. Give My it a nice hug. Is honestly ground pork. That's probably the one I reach for the most. Okay. It's just so easy. Like. Right, it's like ground, like you can make anything with it, uh, right? Just like weeknight meals. Like yes. I got home. Okay, so give me your top three, top three ground pork recipes. Pad thai. Pad thai, ooh. Yum. Um, like meatballs, I do that a lot, because you can do anything, right? Yeah. Ground pork, an egg, some panko, whatever you want, right? You're so awesome. <laughs> Here we go. Ankle to knee, thread the needle. And then number three is probably pork tenderloin. Okay. That, oh, if you slice it into like inch and a half chops and wrap it in bacon and put it on the grill, Oh, that. this is phenomenal. It's, and again, this. easy, it's done in 20 minutes. So I know some people are concerned with like pork not being as lean as chicken, but that's not true, right? No. And what are your like leaner cuts of pork? Yeah, if, so I'm, if I'm thinking I want to reach for leaner cuts of pork, I got, you know, I'm thinking about heart health. Let's switch yeah. out the legs, switch out the legs. Pork tenderloin. Tenderloin. And pork loin. More and tenderloin. as lean as a bonus thing chicken. Got it. So if I'm looking for leaner cuts, I'm going pork tenderloin and... Pork loin. Pork loin. Yep. Got it. Nice work. Let's go long leg. And that would be like a pork chop, right? So those are just the, if you slice up a pork loin, you get pork chops, right? Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Nice, okay, let's thread the needle. Nice, I love all the things. And we always wanna make sure we're being safe, right? So it's best to cook pork to 145, yep. 145 degrees. It's okay degrees. if it's a little pink. It's okay if it's a little pink. cut if it's okay if it's a little pink. Nice. Yeah. All right, let's roll over to the side. Let's go for a quad stretch because that first circuit just totally crushed my quad. So side line, you're gonna pull the heel towards the glute. Push your hip flexor towards me. Nice, right here. Okay, so here's, here's my question. Meatballs, I go back to this all the time. So I like to meal prep. Yeah. If I make a big batch of meatballs, do you just like go with a pretty basic seasoning so that I can go like spaghetti, I could go like uh, Swedish, Korean beef bowls. Korean, yeah. So like, I just make them like plain and then you can like switch up the sauces, right? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Sounds oh delicious. My goodness. Right, meal prep, we're all in it. Let's switch other side. Nice work, you guys. Up and over. Other side, woo, awesome. Well, I'm so glad you joined us for this workout, mm -hmm. Taylor. You are just so awesome. I learned so much from you. I love that you focus just on pigs because like what a wealth of knowledge you are <laughs> about them. And like, I learned so many fun facts from you. Okay, do you have one more fun fun pig fact for us? Hmm. I'm gonna put you on the spot. Yeah, my favorite pig fun fact that just shocks people Yes. is that in yeah, six months is as long as it takes for a pig to go from being a little three pound baby pig to a 300 pound, full grown, mature adult. Oh. Like ready for bacon. Six months. Six months, they're wow. fully grown adult. Can that happen to my child? <laughs> <laughs> That's my question, can that happen to my child? In six months, can he sleep through the night and be like fully, like pour his own milk? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right, okay, let's go butterfly stretch. Roll the shoulders down and back. That is such a fun fact. Oh my goodness, they are like rapidly growing, maturing yeah. little and, animals. And that's just them, that's no, no antibiotics, no hormones, that's just pigs. So is that why they say like eat like a pig? Because yeah. they just really like eat a ton because they grow so fast. <sighs> Look at that. You guys, so many fun facts. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Taylor. Thank you so much for sponsoring this workout, Minnesota Pork Board. If you want to check out more awesome pork recipes like we were talking about, you can find them at mnpork.com mnpork.com. We'll link it here in this workout video. You guys rock. I hope you love this workout and I hope you come back for unilateral arms. Have a great day. Thanks so much for joining us for that unilateral leg workout. If you loved it, do me a favor, drop subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can find more unilateral training in this workout right here or all of my favorite leg workouts in this playlist right here. Have a great day.